homemade remedies to fight off fleas. To fight off fleas, we can turn to natural products that can be applied in different ways, either directly on our pets or within our home. In this article, we'll talk about some of the best and most effective remedies. Try them. Fight off fleas with vinegar. One of the most well-known remedies for fighting off fleas and used during a dog's bath is vinegar. Any type of vinegar may be used, apple cider, wine, etc. For cleanliness, wash the dog with shampoo. Then, without moving the dog from the place it's being bathed in, pour a cup of vinegar over the damp fur. Be sure to always avoid the eyes and snout. Let the vinegar go to work for at least 5 minutes before rinsing. Lastly, comb your buddy with a fine toothed metallic comb and let dry as usual. Fight off fleas with a fine toothed comb. The habit of combing our dog's fur two times a day with a fine toothed comb will help us with checking for parasites. If there are any fleas, then we will be able to trap them with the comb. With the help of vinegar, fleas will move much more slowly, allowing them to be easily trapped with the fine-toothed comb. After, we will dispose of them in the toilet or in a Ziploc bag. This will prevent the risk of having them get loose in the house. Another way to use vinegar. Another technique involving the use of vinegar to fight a fleas in dogs is adding it to the dog's drinking water daily. The proportion to be used for a dog's water bowl is 1 teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or wine vinegar, 5 milliliters. For a larger animal more than 20 kilos, 44 pounds, you can add 2 tablespoons daily to its water bowl. Fight off fleas with lemon. The smell of lemon is also a strong repellent against fleas. Ingredients. 1 lemon 1 liter of water. Preparation. Add the water in an appropriate recipient and bring it to a boil. Once it is boiling, add the entire lemon in slices. Remove it from the heat and let the mixture rest for an entire night. The next day, pour the mixture over the dog's skin and fur. It will not be necessary to rinse it off. Just as with the vinegar, caution is needed around the dog's eyes and snout. We can repeat the application up to one or two times a week until the fleas are eliminated. This homemade lemon-based remedy is also useful for disinfecting the house. Using a spray bottle, spurts this solution around the house in areas you think to be most affected by fleas, such as in between the crevices of couches, the dog's bed, the floor, etc. Fight off fleas with wormwood.
wormwood is medicinal and has many different properties. One of its uses is as a remedy for fighting off fleas. Wormwood for fighting off fleas can be used in two ways. The first being, planting wormwood herbs in the garden. Its odor will help repel insects and other bugs. Another way to use it is distributing small sacks of dried wormwood around the interior of your home, especially in the zones most affected by fleas. Fight off fleas with cedar chips. Cedar is a tree that belongs to the conifers and fleas don't support its smell. That is why a good way to keep fleas away is by spreading cedar chips around the areas dogs usually likes to rest in. Although, there is a chance the animal may have an allergic reaction to the cedar chips. Immediately remove the product from the household and substitute it with another homemade flea fighting remedy. Fight off fleas with salt. It has been proven that fleas lay their eggs on the ground, rugs, and cracks. Flea eggs and larvae are very sensitive to the lack of humidity. Therefore, when salt adheres to the eggs, they dry up and die. To use this homemade remedy thinly sparse handfuls of salt on the rugs throughout the house. Let the salt do its job for various hours or better yet, all night. This remedy can be repeated more than once over many weeks until the house is free of fleas. Fight off fleas with essential oils. Essential oils derived from lavender, thyme, cedar, citronella, tea tree. Geranium among others are also good homemade remedies to ward off fleas. Although, special caution should be taken around cats because they can be toxic to them. <laughs>